Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. Alright, this is another one. Okay, on this one it says Oba Sanjo Yaradua. Jonathan destroyed Nigeria. Don't blame me. Hold them responsible. This was said by Buhari himself. Oh my god. Well, on to this, the President Muhammadu Buhari in his Nigerian's 60th Independence Anniversary Address has accused past leaders from 1999 to 2015 for destroying the country and yet have the impudence to criticize his administration. The period in question was when Olusha Gumba Sanjo Umaru Musa Yaradua and Good Luck Jonathan held sway as president. Buhari while justifying why petrol price pump has to be increased due to fall in revenue said in the nationwide broadcast on Thursday morning that no government has done as much as his administration has done with scarce resources despite which spending on security. The president cited that cost of petrol in some other oil producing countries, especially the country's neighbors, were much higher, adding that the previous cost in Nigeria is no longer sustainable. Buhari stressed the need for tough decisions as the country must face realities, he said. No government in the past did what we are doing with such scarce resources. We have managed to keep things going in spite of the disproportionate spending on security. Those in the previous government from 1999 to 2015 who presided over the near destruction of the country have now the impudence to attempt to criticize our efforts. In the circumstances, a responsible government must face realities and take tough decisions. Petroleum prices in Nigeria are to be adjusted. We sell now at 161 naira per litre. A comparison with our neighbors will illustrate the point. Chad, which is an oil producing country, charges 362 naira per litre. Niger, also an oil producing country, sells one litre at 346 naira. In Ghana, other oil producing country, petrol pump price is 326 per litre. Further afield, Egypt charges 211 naira per litre saudi arabia charges 168 naira per litre it makes no sense for oil to be cheaper in nigeria than in saudi arabia fellow nigerians to achieve we need to solidify our strength increase and commitment and encourage ourselves to do that which is right and proper even when no one is watching Fellow Nigerians, let us collectively resolve to continue our journey beyond the 60 years on the clear understanding that as a nation, we are greater together than being smaller units of nationalities. By the special grace of God, we shall come through any transient challenges. It is my sincere hope that, that by the end of this anniversary on September 30th, 2021, we will all be proud of taking this individual and collective self-assessment for the progress of our great nation. Wow, Niger area. Hmm. A lot of people have said it that, who the independence app. Now, a lot of people are hungry. Nothing has happened. Who independence app? Hmm. Well, a lot of things have been said so far on this. But to me, the question is, does this actually help Nigerians? 
does a statement about the fact that the the ex president that ruled Nigeria were the one that destroyed Nigeria was it actually something that Nigerians are accepting or not well the truth of the matter is that a lot of Nigerians are not okay with the statement from Buhari right now Nigerians are not happy <laughs> A lot of things have been said against Buhari on this one and then a lot of people have said a lot of things. Okay, meanwhile, Nigerians have said that President Muhammadu Buhari, you are saying that Jonathan destroyed Nigeria. But come to take a look at it, it has been noted that you, President Muhammadu Buhari, could not, in fact, cannot do without Jonathan. You are hosting private meetings with him, times without number. Your region northern are still calling him to come back. So now you are saying these people destroyed the country, yet you are still calling him. A lot of things have been said so far that actually baffled me. But according to Omena Okochi, Omena Okochi said that the buck stops on President Buhari's table, but he keeps blaming others. He should just quit for someone that wants to take responsibility to sit behind the table. Hmm. That is serious. Well, that is saying that anybody who is coming in as a president should be ready to do better. Not that to come and do worse. That is it. If you know you can't make it better, then there are some people that are ready to correct the wrongs of people instead of you blaming others on your mistakes well that is that and um, that's so you are telling us that because the past leaders did not make the country a better place and you coming in yours is just to worsen it then why are you why are you chosen to be a leader that this is very wrong this is a very wrong statement that this is a very wrong statement from someone we call our leader hmm. That is serious. Well, the good law will continue to you know, help this country. That is it. Though, we need to help ourselves. But the thing is, nobody is trying to do the right thing. Because somebody has done wrong, then you are coming to worsen it. Then why are we electing you? Because initially we noticed when the president was promising change. That no worries, this time around we are changing. This is going to be a change. But now we never knew that it was going to be a change for negative. Because this is not a positive change at all. In fact, the country is getting worse by the year, by the day. And Nigerians are not happy. That's why a lot of people are saying, maybe we should just try another party. Of which we have tried a lot of parties. And none of them have been able to save Nigerians. Well, this is serious and that is it, my people. Meanwhile, let me have more takes from you on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.